I was just on a discovery call last week and I'm just like, girl, you have an amazing story. Tell it, get on social media and tell it. She's like, I'm not that great. I'm like, literally you have a story to tell. Like it's somebody waiting on the other side of you being obedient. Like if God put something in you, it's meant for you to Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra. For those who are new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button just to stay up to date with my latest uploads. So here on my channel, we are all about creating a life of love. So that being said, let's hop into today's video. So I just want to start by saying, first of all, first of all, first of all, congratulations to me. I am officially done with my master's program. And you guys, like, I think education is important, but baby, I'm happy. I'm so happy to be done with school. You just don't know. Like, trying to work a nine to five, I moved across the country in the midst of this. And I had a ton of side hustles at the same time, trying to do all of that ambient school was a lot for your girl. So I'm, I'm happy that I'm done because now I have time to dedicate to things that I'm more passionate about. So yeah, but I ended up getting my master's in marketing and I just finished up this summer and unfortunately they don't have a summer commencement ceremony. So I have to wait until December and fly to cold Michigan. To walk across the stage and I've just been wondering like is it gonna feel the same like I'm done now so like will I still feel like like is it worth it like I don't know everybody's like just do it like you're gonna love it and I'm just like okay but I'm done now so I, I don't I don't get why they just don't have three graduations like but anywho um so I got the master's in marketing and it's just kind of like a funny story behind this this whole master situation anyway like so we all know that thing that happened in 2020 it kind of it ruined a lot of people's lives it shook a lot of people's lives but i feel like it was almost like the biggest blessing for me um fortunately i don't think i lost anybody personally i know we all got COVID, but by god's glory my family you know we did good through it but during this time i was called into a season of isolation like most of us and it helped me think about my purpose and what i'm here for and how i can help people and what i'm actually good at what do i like to do so prior to what i do now because i'm actually a social media manager i was working in talent acquisition which i wanted to do but I don't necessarily think that I was in love with it. And the thing that made me kind of spark this interest in like marketing and the creative side of business is when I would be doing my sourcing and my recruiting and stuff like that, the most exciting thing to me were making my seasonal flyers, were changing up the job descriptions to make it sound exciting. Um, what else did I used to do? I just loved the creative side of it like i was a recruiter for a popular daycare brand like one job title we would use is like the toddler whisperer like i just love to kind of like play and just make things more fun and more vibrant so that kind of sparked my interest in like the branding and the marketing side of things so fast forward to the pandemic, boom, everybody's laid off. Everybody's like, oh, let me start a business. So I definitely took advantage of that. I somehow just could build websites, could make logos. Like I just really perfected my craft during that time. And I'm like, okay, so when all this pandemic stuff is like over and done, I want to be a marketing girly. And I'm like, I need a marketing degree because I was applying for stuff and it was not hitting. Like my resume was not hitting. Like I was applying for everything. And I'm like, I need, I don't have any real marketing experience. Like they're not picking me. I'm like, I need a marketing degree. Fast forward, I apply to this program, get in the program. But in reality, I probably shouldn't have did it. I probably should have really consulted with God before I did this because this degree cost me $50,000. And I'm a marketing manager. I mean, not a marketing manager, social media manager. So I, I do, I do like social media. And that is exactly like the realm and the space that I wanted to be in. But I got there without having that degree. Like I, my degree was just converted this month. So like, was it really necessary for me 
to get it. I mean, sure, I have all this knowledge that I can bring to my company. They knew that I was, you know, in school prior to me joining. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's pros and cons to it. But at the end of the day, like, there's so much knowledge and information free and available for us. Like, if you're thinking about going back to school, I feel like if you can't pay for it and you don't necessarily need it, unless you're like trying to be a doctor or a lawyer or something, like, don't, I would say, don't sweat it right now. Don't, I would say, take your time to really think about that decision before you do it. But, um, like I said, now that I'm done with school, I have more time to focus on these things. So I am kicking off a series to helping entrepreneurs who are still working their nine to fives, build their brands, build their businesses. Um, I think it is so important to have something else outside of your work for security purposes, honestly. Like when you think about it, that moment where I was laid off, it didn't hurt in the moment because I realized I hated that, that place that I was in, but it showed me that I am just a number. And believe it or not, you guys are just a number too. Like, we are all just a number to these companies. When it's time to make cuts, they will literally make it and not even let you know. They'll call you day of and let you know these decisions. So I think it's important that you always, 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 always protect yourself. And like lately I've been talking to people who are actually like older than me. And a lot of them have some great talent, great knowledge, years of experience that they could obviously be using outside of work. But a lot of them are like scared and like have imposter syndrome. I was just on a discovery call last week and I'm just like, girl, you have an amazing story. Tell it, get on social media and tell it. She's like, I'm not that great. I'm like, literally you have a story to tell. Like it's somebody waiting on the other side of you being obedient. Like if God put something in you it's meant for you to tell somebody else, especially if that's your purpose. Like, she was like, I know it's my purpose, but the social media thing, and I'm just like, guys, like we can't be scared of like social media. It's literally a tool, a tool to help you, a tool to spread awareness, a tool to spread information. And so with that being said, I am kicking off my series, Sierra on Social, where I'm going to be helping entrepreneurs build their brands, build their businesses. I'm going to be talking about all things of the importance of having, you know, a business while still working your nine to five, how to balance your time, how to create content, business plans, target marketing, all of that stuff free, free, because it's time to get your life, get your stuff together. Because I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's something weird going on. And I just want to make sure that you are covered. Like, cause when I think about it, I have an amazing life. I have an amazing apartment. I have an amazing car. I make six figures and it's just like, okay. But if that job was to be gone, like I know God has put talents in me and put hustle in me and drive in me to where I can use my talents and I can figure it out. But I want other people to make sure that they know that they have skills, talents, and passions and things that they need to get out. Like how can they show up on social media? How can they establish their personal brand outside of work? Like I talk to people all the time, they're like, oh my God, work has me so stressed out. Like, and just people get so emotional at work. And I'm just like, you know, I do know this is just a job, right? Like just a job. I appreciate my job, but the pandemic showed me, you are just a number and I'm not gonna get myself sick, stressing out about a job. Like, just don't come, do your job, go home. Don't go home, start thinking about work, working while you're at home, sleeping about work, thinking about work while you sleep. Like, people are just nuts. Like, I don't get it. But I think it's important when you come home, you think about your dream, you think about your purpose, you think about what you need to be speaking um, in this world. Like, you need to be thinking about how you can be giving back. And like, I feel like in today's society, it's too easy. It's too easy. We have everything right at the palm of our fingertips. So it's no way. 
And then, hey, if, if lack of knowledge is a thing, follow my series. Like, I'm gonna be dropping the gems and I wanna help you get your life, cover your butt because, I don't know, we just wanna be prepared. Like, we have to be prepared. We have to create security. We have to create multiple streams of income. We have to set our legacy and our children and our offspring up for success. And that starts by not working all day to build somebody else's dream, but taking your spare time to build your own dream. So that being said, I'm gonna try to post every Wednesday something, some business tips, some marketing tips, some branding tips to help you guys get your business started, get your brand established. Those who are watching today, I have a freebie for you guys down there to, you know, just to start thinking about some things to get your side hustle started. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you guys on this series with me. And you guys have a great day. Bye. Never be scared to leave your hometown to grow. As much as you love your hometown, it's the one place that'll kill your dream if you stay there too long. You move to a new city, you lose nothing. You only gain an opportunity that can change your life. The thing about your hometown is it's never going to change. You can always come back and do the same thing that you've been doing with the same people. But you go to a new city, it might be a new relationship that can change your life. It might be a new job opportunity that never been possible for you.